Hey guys, it's Bossman. I just want to give you guys my thoughts quickly on certain things with last night's Money in the Bank pay-per-view. I believe that it was overall a good pay-per-view. If I had to rate it uh, 1 out of 10, I'd rate it about a 8. I liked what they did with this pay-per-view. I don't, however, like the following thing. I don't like how many people were potentially seriously injured and the people that were seriously injured, such as Sin Cara, who potentially has a very serious injury from the Money in the Bank ladder match on the SmackDown side. I really think that in the Mark Henry Big Show match, Big Show got his leg legitimately snapped by Mark Henry. And I think that it may have been a freak accident, but it was very dangerous how Miz hurt his knee, whether it was a dislocation, which is what it looked like, or something worse. And I just think that, all in all, Money in the Bank should have stayed a WrestleMania opener than its own pay-per-view. Because ever since Money in the Bank has been around and they've been doing more ladder matches as accustomed to that, it's led to more and more injuries and more and more opportunity for serious injury. And I just don't think that WWE should be playing Russian roulette like that at this point because they do not have the deep talent pool at this time to pull from if talent in these matches get hurt. Now, I think that the way that the Randy Orton Christian match was booked was complete and utter crap for the finish. I totally understand the spitting in the face. But I don't understand, even though I understood that Orton could lose the title on a disqualification, I thought it was pretty bush, weak, cheap, and lazy to have Orton lose the title on a low blow. They should have had him lose the title by slamming Christian in the back with a chair as hard as he could. That still could have been in front of the referee, but it's not as cheap and as bush as saying, okay, I'm just going to have Orton lose the title because he low-blowed Christian. Don't understand it. I think it's a cheap and easy way out. I think it's a cheap and easy way to continue a storyline with almost no thought evoked into it, period. Now, on to what I love and why I'm a wrestling fan. I believe the WWE Championship match between John Cena and Sam Punk was the best match that WWE has done and at least maybe three, four years, not not counting the Undertaker Michaels matches at WrestleMania twenty five and twenty six. Cause those are in my mind in a class by themselves. But these matches were on that this match was undoubtedly the best of John Cena's career, and it was 
one of the best of CM Punk's career. Not the best, but one of the best. And it was the best of Cena's career. I think CM Punk brought out the best in John Cena better than anyone else ever has. Close second to Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 23. And I love all the false finishes. I love the fact that they had the fans with them with every punch, every whip, every attempt at a finisher, every everything that they had going on in that match was spectacular. And I love how they incorporated Vince and John Laronitis, Johnny Ace, head of talent relations into the match. When Vince tried to have John Laronitis come down, run down, and ask for the bell to be rung, and then Cena jump out of the ring and basically knock Laronitis' lights out and tell Vince, no, it's not going to end that way. But the best part of this whole thing to me was when they announced Punk and they had to wait three or four minutes with the crowd going mental and cheering for Sam Punk and him running around the ring and then sitting in the inside and just soaking it in and saying, this is why I deserve what I said I do. And the other part that I thought was tremendous was how they ended it with CM Punk winning and Vince being totally distraught and looking like he was going to cry right there on the spot. And then CM Punk jumping out of the ring with the belt and jumping on the rail, blow, blowing Vince a kiss, smiling, waving, and going to the fans, with the fans going mental. That's, that's the kind of stuff that they've needed to do for a very long time to keep fans' interest. And they've needed to put this sort of, most of it being work, but a good portion of it being a shoot. So that fans can go, get into it. They can believe in it. And that's what they did with this whole thing. And that's what, that's what makes me love being a wrestling fan. Not a WWE fan, but a wrestling fan. is realism along with the work to make you wonder how much of this is work and how much of this is true in WWE with this whole storyline and with the great work they put on tonight. Did it? I applaud them and I hope they continue this. I hope they don't drop the ball because if they don't drop the ball, this could be one of the greatest eras in WWE if they keep it going. That's all I have to say on this stuff, and I will catch you all very soon.